We're here at EAA Air Venture Oshkosh and we're always on the lookout for something new and different that we haven't seen before. We finally found something. I'd heard of it somewhere. I got some email or something, but I hadn't seen the little airplane right behind us. I'm Dan Johnson talking to Chris New Duel and Chris, what am I looking at here? Give me a little basic description of what you've created here and then we'll get into some detail. Right. This is our 100% part 103 ultralight aircraft. The way it sits here, seat cushions, headset, iPad, everything, 235 pounds. I saw a sign inside there and yes. people go, yeah, he's making that up or he didn't weigh something. How would you respond to that? I, when we fly today, I almost hope, I pray that they ramp check us <laughs> because I want to bring everybody over so they can watch All us. All right, so you're, you're absolutely sure of that. Absolutely huh? positive. Good for and, you. And, and I tell you what, we're proud of it because I don't know where the 103 is going, but, but it's going somewhere and I want it back right here. I want it in, in our hearts and, and everywhere. So Excellent. that's Excellent. why we're here. Well, I have to give you accommodations, you know, just visual appearance. The aircraft looks good. Thank it's tidy, you. it's well done, it looks, I see some innovative stuff about swinging wings there it looks like, and uh, so I want you to go into a few details, and you know so much you could probably talk for an hour or two about it, and we don't <laughs> want to go on that long, so hit a few of the high points for me, Chris. So high points, number one, are the folding wings. Okay. You and I, Dan, we could pull these front spar bolts and the flapper on control cables, be folded in that trailer in 10 minutes. Is that right? Yeah. So we can we fold the wings in a minute and 42 seconds in the back of my truck, strap it down and drive away. Is that right? It's, okay, that's, that's that's real impressive. Yeah, we're not rushing, but we're very choreographed. It's, uh... So Chris, before we get into some of the more detail beyond the folding wing we just talked about, I, I, I want to find out what inspired you. What what got you going to do this project at all? So. I've been around cars, motorsports, racing, motorcycles my entire life. And uh, close family, they've always flown. They've, they've had ultralights, mini maxes, uh, very easy, you name it, these, my cousins have flown it. And I've always kind of stood on the sideline and, and watched them and envied them. And I was stuck in race cars and I was stuck on motorcycles. And uh, Not that that's so bad. No, not at all, not at all. <laughs> it's taught me so much. and. About four years ago, and three and a half years ago, the jigs for the original Kit Fox Light came up for available, uh, came up for sale, and um, I knew it right then that that was my new adventure. I got them, and uh, we built our first plane in about eight months. And Is that right? I, it uh, made my love and my infatuation even worse. So, well, I imagine then. Oh, yeah, whichever I, I, way I guess you, you can look at that two ways. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. so when you did that in eight months, that, that doesn't mean including all the weldments and everything else, or does it? That was everything. That's everything. That was all the time on the computer redesigning the caliper brackets and the hubs and, you know, all the little uh, chromoly things that I got laser cut and CNC laser cut. Yeah, I noticed a number of items like that, your your actuator arms on your uh, or flap arms, yep. uh, things like that. And I noticed, well, that, that's some extra work. That's just not... Countless, hardware store parts you bolted together. That's right. Countless hours, you know, on solid works and, and um, getting everything just right. Everything is aircraft hardware. I want this to be the airplanest looking ultralight out there. And I think we've made that. I want a guy to have a, a 250 piece toolkit walk into their garage and build this whole thing. <laughs> right, I don't okay. want them drilling holes and cutting tubes and all that stuff. I, I just, I want it easy. So, um, I figure about 150 to 200 hours build time for a guy. Okay. My wings are pre-built. My flaperons are pre-built. Everything is welded, ready to bolt on. Now, since it's part 103, somebody's going to go, well, why even do that? Why not just build it and sell it to people? That's true. For me, Keep it up. I, I almost enjoy building more than I like flying. Almost. I love uh, flying. You're in great company. In the, <laughs> and there's, there's a lot of you out here on the field that feel that way. And I like that because I like it when people build nice airplanes that I can just buy them. Right. So you keep doing that. <laughs> good, But good. try and answer my question anyway. Yeah. And that's, you know, uh, that's just me. I love building. I love being in the garage. I have a 10-year-old, a 7-year-old, and a 5-year-old. And... They're in the garage half the time I am. <laughs> Is that right? If they're not helping me directly, they're they're banging on some aluminum that I scrap aluminum or drilling holes in nothing. You know, they 
um, I can definitely see it in them. It's there. a dual labor force, huh? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, sweatshop, we'll call it. <laughs> well, that's great. I'm sure, uh, nice little education for those guys, too, but yeah. those kids, too. But uh, Okay, so now let's come back to a few of the details about it. Yeah. So basically, this is a, I'm going to call it a kit block slate. Although you started making enough changes that it's not really a kit box light right, anymore. Right, right. So it's now, what is it now? Now it's a Badland aircraft. Badland um, aircraft. It's a, this is an F3 in our lineup of F-Series models. Okay. Basically the F-Series are option packages. And if you buy an option package, you're going to save quite a bit of money versus buying each option individually. Oh, I see. Okay. That's, okay. So it's all the same airframe on every model. It's just different options. This is an F3 except for the tires. We wanted to go light, light, light. So I stuck with the 11 inch tires and everybody teases me about them, but I'm 235 pounds. So. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't know. Uh, they look like pretty proper tires to me. I mean, yeah. I saw the larger one over there and I get that people like bigger tires. They do. And I, I get that. But if you're operating off of, uh, you know, nicely manicured grass anyway, oh, yeah. or hard runways, I mean, you, yeah. you don't need any more than this. No, it's even a that, all this rain we've had lately, we were in a mushy grass field just last week, and we're a little worried, but it handled fantastic. The The spring gear is, is such a huge advantage in stuff like that. Yeah, I'm noticing things just like that, that, you know, most people go, well, a part one or three can't even have that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> In 235 pounds, i got to repeat that number because that's an impressive number. Yeah. Uh, excellent. Okay, let's do a few more details of things that you went, okay, that was some work, or this needs to be changed, or those kinds of things. So, I love SolidWorks. It's so much fun. I love having stuff in there and doing all the dynamic tests, and, the, and um, we changed a lot of the trussing across the back. Did you? Just to strengthen it up. That way, I could use a little lighter material through there, too. So Valid. Um, it uh, just little tiny changes here and there. We changed the Riblet 33 design. We added a little bit more negative camber on there, and it, uh, it oh, slowed yeah. us down. Oh yeah, you just do have a little a negative touch. camber, huh? Yeah. Under camber is sometimes called too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, that's we're just running with it. We we're loving every minute of it. All right, let's go up to the nose here. Talk about engine and uh, the prop. Tell so, me why you picked this engine, why you picked that prop, and how they're working for you. This. Polini Thor 200 is the the lowest horsepower that I recommend in our plane. It's 29 horsepower. 29 horse. Yeah, and um, it this is the epitome of Part 103. I cruise at 55 miles an hour. <laughs> All right. I stall at 30 miles an hour, and my climb out's about 40, 45. It's just it, it's everything that a Part 103 was was envisioned when they wrote it. What kind of That's, climb rate do you get? With this little engine, we're about 250 to 300 feet okay. per minute. Right. With uh, 36, the next step up, 36 horsepower liquid cooled, you're a lot better. You're close to 650 feet per minute. Now, what would that do if you wanted to stay part 103? Could you use that engine Absolutely. or not? Absolutely. You can Absolutely. use the larger engine, you, I'm confirming here. Yes. The bigger engine, no problem. You could still stay under 254. Absolutely. I mean, you got some margin, we you, know. You got 19 pounds you haven't used yet. That's so right. How and much that different? is 12 pounds difference. That's all? That's it. Plus the coolant, so there is a little bit more right there. Yeah, right. That's kind of, but it wouldn't take much, I'm guessing. No, right? no, so. not at all. And if I took out my headset when we weighed it, or if I took out my seat cushions when we weighed it, we're gonna gain that weight. Yeah, true. And so, uh, yeah, headsets, definitely, you don't have to wear those, but yeah, uh, um, seat cushions, mm. I'm, I think you probably do have to wear those. Well, no, you wouldn't. You can fly without them. You're so. right, you're right. Yep. All right, All right. let's look at a couple more things about the airplane now. Uh, uh, gear, of course, is, uh, is, is what we call standard, or, tri yep. or, or tail dragger gear. Yep, spring gear, disc brakes. These are 160 millimeter brake rotors. Uh, standard tail wheel, spring tail wheel. All controllable, of course, so yep. you're, you're yep. no, steerable, no, no, exactly. full, full steering. Uh, and and how, how, the brakes look pretty sophisticated. Are they are they powerful? They are. They look like they do pretty good, especially on a light aircraft here. You're oh, not yeah. slowing down so much. Yeah, we'll stop in about 125 feet. Okay, all right. And uh, what's the takeoff roll with this smaller engine? 400 feet. Okay, well, that's still not bad. No. And 250, yeah, that's a little slow, but, you know, I owned a 150 in the past somewhere, and... It wasn't much better than that. <laughs> and you know what? You just plan on that. That's right. You just yep. don't try and climb to the moon right away. Yeah. So yep. it, that doesn't have to be a bad thing, but it's a little marginal. With the bigger engine, 
How much climb rate would you get? We're looking about 600, 800 okay, feet per okay. minute. Okay, yeah. okay. So I'm guessing a lot of people are going to go, yeah, for... And this is what I recommend, too, is the Water Cool 250. Yeah. It really, and, and that thing, you can get it dual spark, dual ignition. Is that right? So if I said to you, gosh, Chris, I'm really impressed, as I am, um, sign me up. How quick could you get me one? 100 days on a kit. Okay. And full flying, we're probably about... 140 days, 150 okay. days. All right, well, that's still not so bad. A few months. Yeah. And, yep. uh, and, you, and of course, be, it being part 103, as long as you make those numbers, as you've studied, uh, you can obviously deliver it ready to fly. You know exactly. that. Exactly. Okay, yep. great. Yep. And are you going to sell them all yourself? Are you looking for dealers, I things like, like that? I would like an East Coast dealer. I've talked to a few guys, um, but nobody real serious has jumped up and said, I want to be your man and, you know, and stepped in and done it. So describe the airplane's construction for me, if you would, please. All 4130 chromoly okay. airframe. Uh, most of it's half inch. There's some 3.8s throughout there. Um, all steel empennage, rudder, everything is chromoly. The wings are two and a half inch aluminum spars and wood ribs. We do have an aluminum rib option that uh, we can do for anybody. Fully TIG welded, powder coated. Every kit comes ready to go. And these are skills that you possess? They are. You're yep. doing, so you're, yep. you're, you're my, a pretty hands-on guy on I this. I am. I am. My previous career, I was a um, uh, certified welder oh, in the okay. body shop, and, and I was fortunate enough to, to get all that training. And when I switched careers into law enforcement, uh, I carried it all with me and turned it into this. All right. So, cool. Cool. Wing construction. Talk to me a little bit about that. Wing construction is the aluminum spars. And wood ribs, big beefy spars. Too, yeah, I two see. and yeah. a half yeah. inch. Yeah. Yep. And uh, five sixteenths inch ribs with a seven eighths inch cap strip. Uh, this one we covered in Oratex. No, oh, it is okay. It is. Yeah. Uh, they, they do such a nice job. I mean, I, I I was looking for paint quality here, and I went, ah, I'm not seeing anything. Well, that's because <laughs> it's, it's Oratex. Or exactly. <laughs> yep. Even the graphics we did in Oratex edge tape. Ah, right. Okay. So, cool. You know, I wanted to uh, stay true to them, and and uh, they're a great company. Okay, Chris, well, I've, I've asked you all the questions I can think of to ask about your cool little airplane here, and uh, that doesn't mean I missed one that somebody wants to know about. So if they want to contact you, if they want to call you like that, uh, tell us how we get in touch with you, Chris. Uh, you can go on my website, contact me there, badlandaircraft.com. You can email me, chris at badlandaircraft.com, or call me anytime. I'm, I'm here. At, uh, a stupid question is a question not asked. <laughs> so I don't believe in stupid questions. Good, they, they don't exist. Answer. And um, my phone number is on the website. You can reach me anytime. And I'm here for you. Sounds I love great. hangar talk. And I'll, I, I might even drag it out a little bit longer than you like. Yeah, so. All right. Well, uh, nothing wrong with that. Pilots <laughs> like to talk. So all good stuff. I don't have anything on this aircraft yet, but I'm going to have some. But lots of other affordable aviation and machines that look like this somewhat, you can find on bydanjohnson.com.